Hey, I'm back with another Freestyle Libre video. In this one, I will show you how I take off my Freestyle Libre sensor and I share with you five steps how to do it with absolutely no pain. Let's go! My name is Tom, I've been type 1 diabetic for 32 years and I've been using Libre for over two years. On this channel, I share my diabetes journey with you. If you want to be part of Type 1 Talks community, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. But now, let's get into it. I have this bad boy on for 14 days and my phone just told me it's time to replace the sensor. If you have dry skin like me, your sensor can get stuck really well and it might be difficult to remove it. That's why I broke out the take-off process in 5 easy steps which will make it absolutely seamless for you and I promise you will feel no pain. Step 1. Take a piece of cotton and soak it in baby oil or coconut oil. Then rub it around the plastic part of the sensor. The oil will melt the adhesive and it will be much easier and much less painful to remove. You can let the oil run underneath the disc to soak the adhesive even more. Let it soak for 5 to 10 minutes. This will really make a difference, trust me. By the way, I use coconut oil today, but you can also use baby oil or products like Unisolve or Takeaway from Amazon. I will add some links in the description below for you if you want to get fancy. If you're a guy and don't know where to get these cotton swabs from, you can just steal it from your wife or girlfriend. I guarantee they have it. Step 2. Peel the edge of the adhesive and try to peel it away slowly in one motion. The slower you do it, the less painful it will be. So try to go really slowly, not too rapidly and really gently. You see when the sensor starts to come off, it's not 100% smooth, but it's a way easier since everything is soaked in oil and it really doesn't stick that well anymore. Sometimes when the sensor is stuck really well, it's easier to remove the disc uh, from the adhesive while the adhesive is still on the skin. You can remove the disc and then soak the rest of the adhesive with oil, which will make it come out really smoothly. This should also help in case you're struggling big time. Step three. Discard the used sensor according to local regulation for disposal of batteries, electronic materials, sharps, and materials potentially exposed to body fluids. Step 4. Clean any remaining adhesive on your arm with warm soapy water, or body wash, and alcohol, which helps disinfect the wound. You can use the second alcohol swab that is included in your Libre package, if you are wondering what it is there for when you open it. Alcohol is more aggressive, so what works best for me is using soapy water, warm, nice, really gentle, doesn't irritate the skin at all, that's uh, what I like the most. Clean the adhesive really well, you don't want to end up like Theresa May, who is the ex-British Prime Minister who was walking in public with a black circle on her arm. You don't want to have that and since the adhesive is really sticky, if you leave some leftovers on your arm, uh, there will be a black circle for the next few days. Nice and clean, no? Once your skin is nice and clean, you can dry it. And finally, step five, insert and activate the new sensor. You don't need to do anything to disconnect the old sensor from the reader. You just scan the new one and that's it. You don't need to do anything else. I hope that you find this video helpful, especially if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, you might have exactly the opposite problem. So it's very easy for you to remove the sensor and it's actually difficult for you to keep the sensor on for the full two weeks. If that's the case, check the video here that I made, which will help you I'll make your sensor stick for the full two weeks. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!